Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about the workflow tasks list. The first time you create a SharePoint workflow, no matter if it's a SharePoint 2010 or 2013 workflow, the reusable or site or whatever kind of workflow that you want to create, we do one connected to documents here and just do a test workflow. You'll notice that before I save this one, if I go into site contents, there is no such thing as the workflow tasks. But if I now save this workflow, let's go to end here. Now I have a valid, if empty workflow. If I just publish this now, uh, you'll notice that after a few seconds here, once this is published, I will indeed have another list called workflow tasks. There you go, workflow task was just created uh, just right now. And that's the first time I created a workflow that happens. If you don't want that to be visible, then you can go into list and libraries and check this a workflow task and go into the properties of it and hide this from the browser. Then it will only be visible in SharePoint Designer. So if you're not going to be creating any tasks, you want to keep your SharePoint site contents as clean as possible, that is an option that you can do. So let's just save this now. And now I'll refresh the page. There we go. And as you see, there are no longer any workflow tasks. Of course, there are still there, but they're hidden from the browser. If you want to work with this workflow tasks list, even though it's hidden, you can actually browse to it by pressing this preview in browser. As you see, you will get to that list. And anybody that has that link will be able to get to it, but it won't be visible in the site contents. So that's that. Another thing that I want to mention about the workflow tasks list is that in your uh, workflow properties, and this works the same in both SharePoint 2010 and 2013 workflows, you can decide which task list this is going to be connected to. So by default, it's workflow task. But if you want to have a special task list for a special workflow, then you can do that, create a new task list. And of course, even if you create the task list by creating a new task list here, you can still connect that to the workflow. So it just needs to be based on the task content type. So that's all I had to say about the workflow tasks list and how this is connected. So this exists even if you don't create any tasks. And to create tasks, of course, you go into the edit workflow and use the actions assign a task or start a task process. And those, of course, those tasks, that task process will be created within the selected task list. Thank you for watching this demonstration.